Les is here. Just call me a genius. And as you might expect, it's not going down too well. Drivers in Aberdeen and Edinburgh join those in Glasgow in playing a game of Dodge the Fines. It's really weird though seeing some of the vehicles which are exempt. And it's not the only headache I've got this month, the caddy's MOT is due. Does anyone else break out in a sweat waiting for that phone call where the mechanic goes, well... It's a phone call that absolutely fills me with dread. And that's before we even talk about the issues that I've had in recent weeks playing battery roulette. Well, I thought it was an issue with the battery, but I'll go on to that later. Anyway, with Les looming, I decided to use the May Day weekend to my advantage and headed into the city centre before it starts costing me £60 fines. Now, technically speaking, where I parked up isn't in the zone, but getting here is going to be that much of a headache from now on that I just don't think I'm going to bother anymore. I decided fairly last minute that I was going to go and stay in town for the night, and I thought, well, that being the case, I might as well do something, so I booked tickets to go and catch a film. Now, before heading out, I'd already set the van up for the night, so I was ready to hunker down and try and get some sleep when I got back. You know what, it's been ages since I've gone to see anything good at the cinema. I couldn't actually tell you last time I was there. Civil War was good. I had Ron Swanson from uh, Parks and Rec in it. I haven't seen him in a movie before. I was like, I know that guy. It's the give me all your eggs and bacon. In fact, hang on, it's give me all the eggs and bacon that you have. That guy. Give me all the bacon and eggs you have. Worth checking out. Anyway, let's get back to the van and um, <laughs> see if camping in the city centre is any good. Kind of weird, I'll never be able to do this again thanks to the bloody LEZ zone. Although, I think with the train tracks above me, I'm not convinced sleep's happening anyway. It's really weird seeing Palmerston Road this quiet. If you're not from Aberdeen, this is pretty much where everyone in the city centre manages to blag free parking. It's usually absolutely rammed. When I rocked up, there was nobody here. It wasn't as quiet through the night, though. Stupidly, I didn't park too far from a local butcher shop, who it turns out really do start early. They were clattering about from about four in the morning. And they weren't the only people there when I woke up. Now yeah, we've got some neighbours. Morning. I actually got a really good sleep last night. However, my grand plan might have backfired slightly. It's just a tad busier than I thought it would be for Holiday Monday. And I've been BMW'd. So basically, if I do need to change the battery in the van, I can't get into the tools. They're physically under the bed. So I could now be stuck here all day because of some complete prize wally. Becoming quite a popular area. There's a number of artisan businesses set up shop down here these days. And the point I was trying to make earlier, well, it's gonna mean a drive right around the outskirts of the city to get here, rather than directly through the middle of town. It's just not worth the hassle. And what I don't understand is, this is gonna add 
probably 10, 15 miles onto my journey every single time I want to come into the city centre. I don't get how that helps. Right, now I guess it's moment of truth time. Let's give the ignition like five or six primes. Is she gonna start? I really hope so, because if I have to get in the back to get the tools, I don't think I'm getting them anytime soon. I packed up and headed up to the local motor factors to grab a new battery for the van. That's what I thought was the starting issue. Because I'd had a replacement starter motor fitted at Christmas time. I thought a brand new battery bound to solve everything. Beauty. And it didn't. And to make matters worse. And we're clear of the Tesla. My MOT prep didn't exactly go to plan either. Basically everything in this van seems to be fighting me just now. I've given up and just handed it to my mechanic. And given him a bunch of brand new parts. Hopefully by the time you're watching this. I might actually have the van back. But. Even Yodel are conspiring against me. I've got a new clock spring coming and it's somewhere at one of their hubs. <laughs> It'd be nice to actually get the van back. As always, thanks very much indeed for watching. If you've got any thoughts on the Les Zone or maybe you've got something really weird that it turns out is compliant, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below and I'll catch you again soon.